Located all the way down south on the Fossil Island, you can find a boss called the Deranged Archaeologist. He's quite a pain to get to because of a massive swamp blocking your path, which also happens to be filled with obstacles. But back in 2017, this boss famously took out a friend's hardcore Iron Man after 97 episodes. Oh my god, I can't believe this. And is for sure the most attention this boss has ever got in the entirety of the RuneScape community. Since then, however, this boss is most likely the least killed boss in the entire game, as it has absolutely no unique items attached to it, and its regular drops are underwhelming to say the least, worth only 11,000 GP per kill. Now to me, this is exactly why I want to farm this boss, as a goal of mine has always been to land myself a spot on the front page of any high scores in the game. And currently, the rank 25 player for this boss has only killed the deranged archaeologist 2195 times. Now this might sound like a lot, but compare this to example Bandos where rank 25 has killed over 51,000. So let's race through the ranks of one of RuneScape's most forgotten bosses to claim myself my beloved front page on the high scores. The deranged archaeologist is weak to magic, and because I want the fastest kills possible, we have gone with a maxed magic setup worth 1.6 billion GP. If you're going to be killing the deranged archaeologist yourself, of course this is not required gear at all, it is just because I want the fastest kills possible to get that high score spot in the least amount of time. Now normally the way you get to the deranged archaeologist is by using these magic mush trees and teleport to this place right here on spot number 3 but because I've never really done this boss before I haven't unlocked it yet so that is our first course of action. And luckily we only have to run through this entire swamp one time because when you have the teleport unlocked we can just teleport right away to this spot right here which is actually quite close to the boss itself. We also get attacked by these tar monsters which actually just hit like absolute trucks through prayer by the way so I can't avoid this. So using this teleport actually saves you some hit points as well and there's a bunch of these man. But let's go ahead and just click this tree and that should unlock the teleport right away. Yep there we go sticky swamp unlocked so we can now teleport right here and then just do a small run over here to the boss. The deranged archaeologist has a combo level of 276 and has 200 hit points with a max hit of 56 from a direct hit from a special attack. If you make sure to protect from ranged, you actually take zero damage during this fight. The only times you can take damage is from his special attack. When the boss says learn to read over its head, it's going to throw out three books. One directly at the player and two around the player. If you don't move at all, you can actually get absolutely annihilated here. But it's a very easy mechanic to avoid, all you have to do is run a few steps away from the initial impact. But here we go, what is going to be the first loot of the video? 10 white berries for 8k and 2 combat achievements, hey not too bad. Pretty much any activity on the fossil island, of course including the deranged archaeologist, drop these unidentified fossils, which is used to make a bunch of displays for experience lamps in the Varrock Museum, but I've already completed all of it and they take up way too much inventory space so I'm not picking them up. Actually killing the deranged archaeologist with especially my gear is very fast, I get one kill maybe like every 15 seconds, but look at the respawn timer, it's 30 seconds long. So I'm actually getting a kill every 45 seconds. You can though however spam the world hopping button with a rune light plugin and world hop around 10 seconds after it died. And then when you enter the new world you can see on the respawn timer that it saved around 10 seconds on the respawn. But this requires you to of course spam click world hop and do that after every single kill. And because we're going to be here for a very long time I might just do this now and then instead of all the time. But just to make it clear, the whole grind of 2200 kills without world hopping 27.5 hours long. But if I world hopped every single kill saving 10 seconds, the grind instead would be 21.38 hours. After this kill, 25 kill count, we have actually completed the deranged archaeologist as there is no unique items here and we just got the final combat achievement this boss has to offer. Look at that, it is now green that there's only 4 combat achievements and they are the 2 ones I got in the beginning and then for 10 kill count and 25. Okay, we have the first long bone, these are 1 in 64 from this boss and they are actually handed in to get 4500 construction experience. So that is another benefit of this grind, you actually get a good amount of construction experience weirdly enough. Look at that inventory, that is the end of the first trip of this video, we did 127 kill count and look how 
many long bones we ended up getting. We got four of them, which is way above the drop rate, like double the drop rate. And the value of the entire first trip was 1,037,000 GP. But something even more valuable than that is the amazing products by Creator Crafted. RuneScape fire your gaming space today with their assortment of LED lights like the Corrupted Twisted Bow, Divine Spirit Shield, Fire Cape and many other options. Or maybe their beautiful mouse mats, including amongst others the two newly released Solra mouse mat and the iconic boss Jad mouse mat we all struggled to defeat at some point. But if you do want a real life version of Jad or maybe our favorite little thieving pet Rocky, they also offer a variety of statues and plushies created by our golden gnome winners Crumb RS and Witch Crafty. Now, Additionally, during this month of September, Creator Crafter is also giving away free stickers with any purchase. Simply add whatever item you want and stickers to your cart, and the stickers will be free. So head over to my link in the description or pinned comment and use code ALONE99 to get 10% off and a free sticker pack with any purchase. Thanks to Creator Crafters for sponsoring this video. Now I don't think most people even do 100 kill count on this boss and I have 22 on the high scores with rank 196,000. So we're going to relog and update this and see what our new rank is. High scores has been updated so it now says 127 kill count there so let's see how many ranks did we actually gain. We are now 2737 okay. Well we gained a casual 194,000 ranks roughly. Well, we got a bit lucky on an elite clue scroll, 153 kill count. Not too lucky though, it is 1 in 200. And with how fast you can kill this boss, that is honestly not the worst way of getting elites. I was actually curious if there was any reasons to kill this boss at all for maybe Iron Man, so I had a quick Google search, and here in the comment section I could see that you can farm it for Black Dragonhide Body on Iron Man, as well as for Runeite Limbs to make a Rune Crossbow, but there is actually one more thing where you can kill this boss on a Slayer task, even if you get the crazy Archaeologist Slayer task, this one works as well. Which I thought was kind of interesting, so if you do get a crazy Archaeologist task and you just want to do a boss with worse loot, then do this, I guess. Wait, hold on a minute here. I've been here for hours and I just realized these flowers have skulls in them? What in the world, man? Maybe the ramblings the boss does now makes a bit more sense. I'll show you guys. When in combat with this boss, he rambles a bunch of different voice lines. And one of them is the plants. They are alive. So I guess that one makes sense now. But there's another one saying time is running out. She will rise again. And I think that actually refers to cut content on the fossil island. Initially, there was supposed to be a boss that you can spawn with the rare fossils that drops here. But that never came to be. With 231 kill count done, we just hit a massive milestone and you might be wondering why is 231 so important? Well the reason to that is because if we mouse over the updated high scores we just broke the 1000 rank barrier. So I can now claim to be a top 1000 arranged archaeologist gamer. We finally managed to finish up the trip where I got the elite and we are now going to be stacking these up all the way to the end where we open them as we are on the front page of the boss. What? Did I just get nothing? That's the first time I got nothing. I think that's from the rare drop table that you just literally get nothing. Okay, well, thank you, boss. That is very kind. I was actually kind of curious with the drop rate of 1 in 64 for the long bones and them giving 4,500 construction experience per use. I wondered how many deranged archaeologist kills do you need from 1 to 99 construction. Now overall you will need 2,889 long bones to get 13 million experience which is what you need for 99. Which at 1 in 64 drop rate ends up being 185,379 KC. And assuming every kill with this gear setup and the respawn timer of the boss is around 40 seconds in total, you will only have to spend a small amount of 2060 hours at the deranged archaeologist. One of the first things I did when I started this grind was actually add the rank 1 guy Hal Jordan on the high scores to my friends list because I wanted to talk to him more than anything else. So I sent a few messages but unfortunately after 2 hours of waiting I did not get a response. So I actually headed over to the official old school runescape discord and searched for his name and see if anyone could get me in contact with him. 
and I did see this one, not the gold Halle Jordan though, so this actually piqued my interest. I clicked on it and I could not really see what this was all about. I was scrolling through the conversations all the way up and I have no idea why he was mentioned. And after looking around a bit more, I saw this message by 8008 saying if I get 5 deranged archaeologist kills, I'm rank 1. And of course, this led me to believe that this guy, 8008, could be Hal Jordan himself. But after looking into it a bit, it seems like this guy is just a skiller who was talking about the skiller high scores of the boss, so unfortunately, that is not Hal Jordan either. Once again, I then headed over to Reddit and I found this post gratzing Hal Jordan to hitting 10,000 kill counts. And the post was actually made by Ray, and they are actually rank 3 already on the boss themselves. So if maybe I can get a contact with Ray, I can get in contact with Hal Jordan. But as it turns out, none of this was necessary because just a few hours later, I get this message. Oh my god, no way, he answered! Okay, let's go! Okay, hopefully I can get this guy in voice chat. I don't know if he actually wants to do that, but... Oh my god, I'm so stoked. I just saw you have like 17,000 kill count on this boss. Is there any specific reason to why you wanted to go for 17,000 on this specific boss? The reason I started killing it was I noticed it had a relatively high drop rate of elite clues. I just started, it's 1 in 200, I think. Yeah. So I just started killing it for that. And then I started noticing, well, there, this is not a popular boss. Nobody out here is really tanking this. It, it's just seemed doable, so I thought, why not? Yeah, so actually I had a question about that as well. Because you said they, it has a pretty good drop rate on elite clue scrolls. I was going to ask you if you actually did all the elites, or if you kind of just ignored them because they slowed down the grind. No, no, I did them. That's why you I did was all of them, it. yeah. Yeah. I did Masters, so... Uh, were you going for Bloodhound or something like that? Yeah, and no, I don't have it. I I, <laughs> I, I think I have it on like 30 Masters, so you're allowed to actually hate me for that. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, when you did the grind, did you do it already like from the beginning with max gear? Or did you do it for a long time and over time you gained more money so you could spend on the better gear? I already had a pretty established account and had money, so gear wasn't an issue. I started it pretty late in my RuneScape career. Yeah. Uh, so that was never really an issue. I always had had the resources to do it. So like as soon as you could get the Tumican Shadow, like did you did you start this grind after the Tumican Shadow came out or before? No, I don't even have that. Oh, you don't have that. So what we what weapon yeah. did you use? Either of the Tridents, depending on how quickly I wanted to go and how much money I wanted to spend. I see. Yeah, because I'm doing it now with the Tumic and Shadow, and I I hit it like eight times and it's dead. I, I'm thinking of getting that. I've I've got about. 800 mil right now in the bank you so you think it's worth it uh, it's max hitting 65 for me which is kind of crazy <laughs> i mean uh, that's crazy yeah, i'm killing the boss in like on a, on a good kill maybe like eight nine seconds wow. so it, it's yeah, pretty fast great. it's pretty fast yeah <laughs> um another question i had is have you been using the world hopping method or are you just like afking it just waiting for it to respawn normally Oh, you, you want to know all the secrets? Yeah, I hop, <laughs> I, I hop worlds. Yeah. On on all of them or just like half of them or like something like that? I do all of them. All of them. Okay, that's, that's sweaty. Oh my god, I could not do that. When I was looking at your high score page, I saw that you had 20,000 Thermi and you were rank 11 and then 14k Kraken rank 450 and it's most surprisingly, honestly, 981 Bryophyta with rank 56. Is going for like high score rankings on bosses in general something you like doing or what what is the reason to why those bosses specifically well they're easy bosses and two of them are slayer bosses like i have a very a very high slayer ranking so you get a lot of those just doing a lot of slayer but you know i like to see low scores on my on my page that's once you max out there's not you know you gotta have some other goals to go for and i just like to see low yeah. low scores <laughs> yeah, for sure. The, actually, the last question that I have is that, do you have like any dream goal for specifically the ranged archaeologist kill account that would be like the dream to reach? Or as long as I'm rank one, I'm fine. Like, it doesn't matter. My goal right now, I, I like to go back. I, I enjoy killing him. So I enjoy doing master clues. So I go back every now and then, but I don't have a goal. My goal is just to try to maintain one. I'm sure somebody will make a run. People yeah. have made runs in the past. 17,000 KC 
is like what 200 hours of doing the deranged archaeologist <laughs> it, it's a it's a good amount so like if anyone like me for example who started on zero kc a few days ago i would have to spend yeah. a very long time to be able to catch up so i mean yeah. i think 17k is a good spot and of course like as you said if you're enjoying it still then you can just send a couple of cases here and there and then stay far ahead of everyone else that's right that's yeah. right. What a great guy, huh? That was such a fun interview, but we are now back to the grind and we just hit a massive milestone. 1,000 deranged archaeologists. We're almost halfway done. Once again, we're hitting a rank barrier with 1,025 KC and that is the rank 100 barrier. Only four more pages to go until we are on that front page. And actually looking at the high scores here, I see on the top there rank 76, Trails Reborn. And I think that is the content creator only trails, so I guess we we now have something in common. We've killed this boss over a thousand times. Oh, we broke the dry streak. I am not kidding. That is the second elite on this entire grind. We're over a thousand kills in. What are we actually? 1041. And we have only got two elites. I have a question for you guys if you would be on board on this. As I was doing this elite clue scroll, I actually walked past these monsters. Can we make maybe a petition to rename these to Sabretooth Giat instead? I feel like that would be way better for the game honestly oh yo we actually <laughs> okay you know what this is celastra seed is the most rare item you can get here one in eight thousand and it's 60k Yo, no way. In the same trip, we also get a Spirit Seed, the first one of the grind, which is one in 4,000. So we got two extremely rare seeds in one inventory. With this one, we're hitting the last final milestone, except for, of course, when we do get that front page, 2,000 kill count. Oh! We get an elite clue scroll as well, not too bad. I have been catching up on the drop rate of these, which is very nice to see, but if you have a look in the chat, can you see something different about the kill count counter? There was just an update where they added a small little comma. So instead of all the numbers being pushed together, you can now see two and then a comma and all the zeros, which I think looks better. We just restocked the final inventory because I'm getting around 150 to 200 kills a trip, depending on how many prey pot drops I get. And we just hit 2096 kill count, which means we only need 100 more to get the front page. So it feels good to soon finally be done with this grind because this is truly mind numbing. One more kill to go. We are now even with rank 25. Hopefully the rank 25 guy does not just randomly decide to grind a bunch of KC. So I have to stay here longer. But uh, one more kill to go and we are done. So for the past five days this grind has took, I've spent five hours roughly every single day only killing this boss. And this is the final kill. It feels so good for it to finally be done because this grind is just so boring to do. There's nothing to look forward to. You can't really get any rare drops except clue scrolls and long bones but this is all the loot that we got i mean 29 million almost for this and actually i think i got kind of lucky because every kill on average has been worth 13,000 gp and with the elites that we got as well after opening them we are definitely going to be making a profit here but of course we do have to have a look at the high scores let's go ahead and click on deranged archaeologist and there it is, rank 25 alone scape, YouTube, 2096 kill count. And from now on, you can see that every single rank is getting quite a lot steeper to get to, but I could actually get to like rank 17, rank 16 without too much effort. And in the future, I might go back here now and then just to keep my rank. Before we open these nine elites, I did get a bunch of these long bones, not actually 56, but I got 37. And 37 of them would be worth 166.5k construction experience so that is actually how much construction experience we got on this grind but because i already had some in the bank we're just going to be handing in all of them because they do get drained from your bank so yeah as you can see i actually cannot give it only the 37 bones it will take all of the ones i have in my bank including the one curved bone which gives 6.7k construction experience but let's just go ahead and do it see how much construction experience we can get 258,000 and 58,000 coins. Not too bad. And of course, as I said, 166.5k is from only the deranged archaeologist. But with that done, there is nothing left to do except just open the elites. So let's go ahead and do that, see if we can get any masters. I guess we can. Master clues from elites, of course, is one in five. So we should see one more at least. But let's keep opening. We completed the master. I think we can complete most masters. I think there's only like one or two steps I can't do. And of course, we can also get a mimic. But that is way more unlikely, at least from the elites. And there we go, another master. 
And unfortunately, of course, we get the one master step I cannot do. And I'm not feeling like finding a group for the fighter tour, so I haven't even started the grind yet. I've never needed it. I have Vandal's chest plates. But let's see if we have any more interruptions for last elites. Oh, we get a mimic from an elite. That, I think that's pretty rare. Let's go and do it. Let's go ahead and see what we get. 15 raw manta rays. At least a master. Lost two elites, let's see if we get another master, and seems like no more interruptions. Let's head over to the masters now. Two masters from that grind could have been three if I had a fighter torso. Not too bad. Oh, 118k. 118, 118. Okay, interesting numbers. So the moral of this story. Well, if you don't have an infernal cape, quiver, or blood torva, just get rank 25 on some weird, obscure boss to claim you're actually a top runescape player. Thanks for watching.